everyone welcome back so I have a sort of first impressions review on the new Urban Decay this is the all-nighter waterproof long wear liquid foundation now Urban Decay has some of everyone's favorite foundations I know the naked skin foundation is a lot of people's favorite now that is known for naked skin having more of a skin like finish a little bit more of a medium coverage it has a buildable medium coverage this is full coverage has a ton of pigment in it and it boasts to wear for 24 hours or all night so for those of you who really love that full coverage look I think this is going to be a foundation that we might like I'm one of those people that's why I say we so I ordered this off of the Urban Decay website it's $40 and there are 24 different shades now the one thing I will say is if you had a shade in the naked skin foundation that you think you would wear in this foundation from some of the other um, videos I've watched or buzz that I've seen or people swatching shades that say hey I thought I wore this and I ordered this shade and it's too light I'm getting the overall sense that these shades run lighter than your color that you might possibly have worn in the naked skin foundation um, I ordered the shade 3.0 and I did swatch it when I first got it it has like a pump and really nice um, I like this like gunmetal packaging uh, when I first got it, I swatched it on my hand, and it is just a touch light. This is 3.0. Um, but it's going to work. It's going to work for me uh, to demo it today in the video. And I'm just going to do a wear test. I wear this all day. So I'm just going to do my complexion products. I also brought in the Naked Skin Concealer to conceal under my eyes. And I'm going to go and bronze up my face and put some blush and other face products on top of it just to see how all of those products wear throughout the day. Since this is a full coverage foundation, I love using a any type of beauty sponge to apply that. This is the Pure Minerals Beauty Sponge, and so I'm gonna use that to apply it. Let me read a little bit about the foundation from Urban Decay's website. It says that it's a modern matte finish. It gives you a blown out effect that you never thought you could have. Revolutionary formula uh, is comfortable enough to wear every day but also a full enough coverage to wear all through the night. It's oil free. This has about three times the amount of pigment that the Naked Skin Foundation has. So it's extremely full coverage. Because of that, there's no need to build coverage because you don't need to build layers to get coverage because you're gonna get coverage on the first layer which I like that because you're using less product but you just have a lot of coverage. It says that it mattifies and absorbs oil to reduce shine. So, I'm just gonna put a little bit more on the back of my hand and we're gonna apply this and give it a whirl. I'm just going to put a few dots right there and start to blend it out. Oh God, it's really pigmented. Wow, you really do not need a lot of product. Like I said, the 3.0 is a little bit light for me right now, but I'm going to see if I can get it to work with putting on bronzer. Wow. I can see you do not need layers of this foundation. You literally just need bare minimum. I really like that, though, that I don't have to build up this up for coverage. Whoa, baby, whoa, baby. Okay, so that's the only layer that I have, and it, it immediately, like, dries down. Like, it feels immediately matte, but not, like, too matte. It feels, like, super light on the skin, which I really like. Doesn't look cakey in the mirror. Um, wow, I'm pretty impressed with this foundation. I think uh, I need, like, a little bit darker of a color, but I think I can get it to work with bronzer and whatnot. But besides that, I love this foundation. Um, I'm going to use the Naked Skin Light Warm Concealer under my eyes, but I mean, holy mackerel, this has a lot of coverage, and I like that it's so thin that it just doesn't feel like you're wearing, like, 
like a cake face. Like one of the highest coverage foundations that I wear is Estee Lauder Maximum Cover and I just kind of add a drop of that into um, some other foundations that I'm wearing because it is so full coverage. This is a lot like that but a whole lot less, it's just like thinner consistency. Um, but super high coverage, holy mackerel. Like I think this is gonna be one of my new favorite foundations if it wears really well and if it doesn't like break up on my skin. Okay, so I just went ahead and finished up my face under eye concealer. I'm gonna go apply bronzer and a little bit more eye makeup just <laughs> It's going to be a casual day because I really want to just test this complexion product. But I'm going to put all the rest of my face complexion products on so that I can really give a good wear test for this foundation. But I'm pretty impressed. Like my skin feels really nice. Doesn't feel very heavy at all. Doesn't look cakey in a mirror. It's already dry. So I'm going to go apply the rest of my products and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and put on some complexion products and I love the way things layer on top of this because it already is has dried down to a matte. I didn't need to top it with powder at all. Um, it didn't feel, it doesn't feel tacky at all. So other powder products, the reason I like to sometimes set my face with powder is if I have a, a little bit more of a tacky foundation product, um, to set my face with powder helps it not budge when I'm putting other powder, powder products on top of it. You don't need to do that with this because it literally like dries down. Um, I like the way it looks on the skin in the mirror. It doesn't look cakey, but it is super full coverage. So I think I'm really going to like this. Hopefully it does stay for a while it stays all night I'm not gonna test it all night but I'm hoping this stays at least eight hours so like I said I just kind of put on minimal makeup today um, I'm just gonna kind of be around the house running a few errands and I'm gonna check back in tonight to show how the foundation kind of held up with powder pro other powder products on top of it but so far so good and like I said other products didn't go on blotchy on top of it which I really like so I think that this is going to be a win I'm going to check back in later and then I'll tell you my final thought all right it is about 7 p.m. so I've been wearing this foundation all day long um, about about 12 hours and I can't believe it I mean Listen, it's hot outside today. I was outside, I ran errands, I met with a friend. I have been with my kids all day. They've been running up on me, kissing me. Like my little one squeezes my face all the time, like has had her hands on my face. I have taken a hardcore nap. I literally, I accidentally fell asleep and I woke up and I was like, oh, I gotta go film my update. So. This foundation has taken a beat, and it still looks good. So I'm really impressed. I have to say, very, very impressed with the all-nighter foundation, um, new from Urban K. I think forty dollars is a very good price. Now this does come with, let's see, how many? One fluid ounce. It's a typical amount of product that comes within a foundation. I think this is going to be one of my go-to foundations for full coverage, only because, I mean, and also there's no shine on my face like it really did maintain its matte finish throughout the day so that's another impressive thing and especially here in texas no matter what you're having to touch up with powder just because it's so hot out if you're outside at all your foundation breaks down from sweat and everything so i would definitely say that this that this is waterproof foundation hopefully this helped in decision if you're going to pick it up or not or if you're going to try it if you have tried it let me know down below i'd love to hear your thoughts and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.